So here is the leader. Wait for the announcement. On the ice, representing Japan. Never been in the World Championships before. And here he is in Saitama. With the rest behind him going into the free. Stravinsky's Firebird for the 24 year old from Kanagawa, Tatsuki Machida. Two quads first up in his program. confident a couple of days ago can he keep that through here the next four and a half minutes quanto so his second one which should be coming up in his next element should have a combination And he did, quad toe, double toe. Triple axle, triple toe loop. Well, he is off to the races. Sensational bit of footwork. Now he is prone to losing his focus and concentration towards the end of the program. Axel. Just not as pretty as the first. Well, he gave that everything almost too much. to hold on to that triple looper. Not the move after the loop was landed. But no problem there with the Lutz. Triple flip, double toe loop, double loop. Just one jump pass to go, and there it is.
quite incredible. No surprises with the reaction from the crowd or the coaches. But in all probability, you're looking at the world champion here. Unless we're going to see something quite miraculous, he's put himself out of reach. His first world championships, it's just not right. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I think you're right, Simon. I, I can't see that being beaten, to be honest with you. Even if Han Yu skates clean, I don't think he'll have enough points there. I don't think he can do it. Get those five points back from the short. Two quads, seven triples, beautiful skating. He didn't put a foot wrong. It looked, a couple of the jumps looked a little iffy, but the points were there. I think he was round on all the jumps. Yep. As you say, rotation it, is king. It looked to me as though he got all the levels that he needed on the spins. It's a, a wonderful program, and uh, he kept his nerve together. It takes a special, special person to be able to cope with that kind of pressure and perform like that, two programs back to back. I tell you, I think the draw was perfect for him yeah. because uh, he only had to wait one skater after the warm-up, and it doesn't give you enough time to really think about what's going on. You can't overthink it. No. It's, a, it's a good place to skate. Because if, if uh, Han Yu had skated then and skated rather like he had, then all the pressure would have been on him. Absolutely, yeah. Now he's thrown down the gauntlet to the other guys. The pressure is well and truly on uh, Han Yu, who, uh, what did he skate? Fourth in this group, and Fernandez second to last. Amazing. And it was great to see him uh, not put the combination on the first one because the landing wasn't quite as solid as it could have been. And then to come back, of course, that puts pressure on the second quad, but it didn't matter. It was uh, an absolute blinder, and he put a beautiful double toe on the end of it. There's the triple axle. And I have seen him in the past just let things go, like the triple salco towards the end of the program. Sometimes that gets doubled, but uh, not today. He made everything count. Well, he had a career-best short program, scoring 98-21, seven points more than he's ever scored before. And presumably, it's a career-best free program. 174-20 is his best mark. Yeah, you'd have to think so. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a career-best. The technical panel taking their time. They're reviewing those quads and the triple axles looking at the spins again just to make sure they've got the levels right well he could not have done more and he's very probably done enough oh, 184 10 points better than his personal best Surely that can't be beaten. He's come from nowhere, Machida. And he could well be the world champion. That's the third highest score for the men's free ever.